Hey, what's up? I'm Roller Coaster Writer, and I'm here with KD. And hey there. a few weeks ago, we did commentary for a Fox for a Fox documentary, Alien Autopsy: Fact or Fiction. And today, we're going to do another commentary because no one requested it. But I'm running out of videos to that I've already done. So we're going to re we're going to review a 1998-1999 special that aired on Fox called Train Wrecks. This is hosted by John Bennell, who his voice commands power. Have you ever seen any of his specials? No, I haven't. Have you seen uh have you seen this special? I've seen I think that you showed me before. The entire stuff. one? I saw the Champagne one or the the, uh, okay, the Downers yeah, Grove yeah. one. That was part of a DVD that I have banned from television. I have two. Um, and did you see a lot of Fox documentaries when they came out? Some. Like, which ones did you see? I don't really remember. They were that good, folks. <laughs> oh, they weren't. <laughs> Some of them were good. When Things Go Bad. M amazing medical videos caught on tape. Um, scariest police shootouts. So, we're going to review train wrecks. KD, you ready yeah. for the stupidest pun? What? Choo choo! Yeah, literally. Let's get going. Dang. Come on, we need to talk out. We need to. Ooh. Have you ever have you ever seen a train crash? Whoa. No, I haven't seen one. Have you almost been hit by a train? No. Oh my god, you are going to drown. Ooh, wow. And then I looked forward. I saw fire in the next car. Hot. Dang. I've been scared though on some intersections before. When crossing crossings, train tracks? Yeah, yeah okay. sometimes there's a couple in a couple places where where it it Another could change explosion. the lights and the gates could come down, so it's there was one careful. there was one time at Great America I was crossing the train tracks at County Fair and I didn't past the gates far in enough time so I just stayed like very far away from the train from the train and tracks and I fortunately I didn't get in trouble and that really hurts that'll hurt that'll be painful I was a I was very interested in trains and Thomas the Tank Engine years ago in my 27 years in law enforcement He's a, a he's he's a guy that commands presence. None are worse than train wrecks. Pound for pound, trains are the heaviest, the largest, yeah, he's got an and the interesting, fastest uh, things on earth. Going there. When something goes wrong with a train, no one is safe. Mm. And when a car goes up against a train, the car is always the loser. Okay. Is this a, are you worried that this will ever happen to you? Not until now, huh? Do you think the same? Do you think this could happen today? Would the engineer be on the phone? Well, he'd be in big trouble. I've heard, I wonder how far this is from like Cleveland or Cincinnati. That was close. Yeah. Imagine if that was full of gasoline. Ohio. 
And oh man, he's alive. This guy is so stupid. He's actually angry. In fact, he should thank his I wonder if his car can move, or if it's like if his if his car is okay or no. How far is that from where you live? About an hour and a half. Okay. Okay, we're recording, okay? The truck may be intimidating on the freeway, but it's no match for this train. Don't you deny it? How powerful are trains? That, that train was... Why, why is it even on there? But it tosses a truck like a What do you mean? Like, whoa. Thankfully, the driver survived. Man, that was rough. No matter how dumb it seems, um, her name is JJ. That was close. KD, do you want some water? Sure. Okay. Okay, fine. Wow, did you see that one? I've seen this before. Like everything's falling down. The train is going like everywhere. Fortunately, the driver got out in time. In Ohio, a man and his son waited for one train to clear, then pulled out onto the tracks. They never saw the second train coming. That's why the signs say stop, look, and listen. It's the train you don't see that could take your life. Yep. These two were lucky mm -hmm. and survived. Hundreds of people get killed at railroad crossings every year. To stay safe, remember, don't drive around Lord Gates. It's stupid and it's dead. You think? Mm -hmm. Don't race a train to the crossing. I'm you like will lose. Here. Yeah. That is wow. It's devastating. Fireball. A train hits a car, but when a train hits an object that can't move, the threat to human life is even greater. Wow. That's some pretty serious wreckage. Imagine if we just used, if all trains were subways. That would be... That would probably cut down on the problem. Never have to worry about weather. True. But the switches are controlled by timers, and the dispatcher is helpless to steer the train clear. The train is doing 50 miles an hour when it thunders into the yard and collides with three parked locomotives. Oh, man. Whoa. Half a mile of freight train jumps the rails and plows toward a shed full of workers. Richard B. Tech had just stepped outside. It sounded like thunder, rumbling, metal screeching, tearing up tracks, and when I seen the light glare right at me and the roar it was making, and uh, I don't think the cat's ate. Figured I was dead. 
We had a runaway train come right through our entire yard. Uh, uh, we got everything out of control. Half the building set fire. We had many people. What do trains run on? Gasoline and diesel? Some, you know, the locomotives, the locomotives they run on coal. Hmm. If they were all subways, then they could just run on electricity or battery or whatever. Or mag or electromagnets. Mm -hmm. It requires no electricity, it just goes from one to the other. To attract or to repel. What happened to the uh, uh, or the engineer? Still get, uh, Did he pass? A sick feeling when he go over rail, railroad tracks. What could cause such a disaster? Was it sabotage? A bomb? No, in fact, there was a kink in the air hose that runs to the train's brakes. Only seven of 89 cars got the signal to stop. Days later, railroad authorities ordered the line to install emergency brakes to prevent such a disaster in the future. More train disasters have occurred since, so it's just not a, it's not a one-time thing. With people. Wreckage. With people. A freight train hauling propane explodes. In Illinois. Yeah. The most dramatic lesson about safety at crossings ever caught on tape. Even though I know what's going to happen, I still like tense up, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's, you know, this, this stuff is like pretty intense. Now imagine two trains filled with passengers colliding at a hundred miles an hour. No seatbelts, no airbags. What moments before had been a pleasant train ride is suddenly a nightmare. Passenger train wrecks are always catastrophic. These cars weren't hauling freight. They were filled with people. Making it worse, even if someone survives a train wreck, the car itself can become a vault survivors can't get out of, as it sinks in a river or is engulfed in flames. How many subway disasters have you heard of? Would it be... I don't think it would be possible for something to derail in a tunnel, do you? Mm, would it, be, it would be pretty tough for a subway to derail. Yeah, well, one in Chicago a few years ago did it kind of like went up and up the stair. No, I'm talking about just in the tunnel, underground. Yeah. Well, I guess you wouldn't know. January 1987, Chase, Maryland. The engineer of three freight locomotives ignores two signals, warning him not to switch to another set of tracks. He pulls in front of an Amtrak train that's speeding up fast behind him. In the complex railroad system, two trains often share the same track without problem. But it depends on everyone following That the probably rules. shouldn't happen. This engineer had ignored them. He put his locomotives in the wrong place at exactly the wrong time. Are you ready? Ooh. Yeah, those Amtrak trains go pretty down and fast. Mm -hmm. I guess if if a crash does occur under a subway, there'd be almost no way to get to it. You would you would probably have to like have emergency exits like every two or three miles or so, or even maybe even every mile. I would demand so much money if that happened. Yeah. 
but investigators say that just wasn't true. He was indicted for manslaughter by locomotive and sent to a Maryland prison. Little comfort for those who lived through You know what? Put him in a train crash. London, England. In this case, trying to make things safer actually caused the disaster. In 1988, British Rail decided its 50-year-old signal lights needed to be replaced. And they began upgrading... Feel free to comment. They upgraded it? Yeah, after 50 years. When was this? I think it was sometime in the 90s. 80s or 90s. Don't British rails have phones? Uh, I don't know, like outside or... This is, this is terrifying. Watch. Three trains filled with passengers crashed. I would have that electrician sued into beyond, into total bankruptcy. Him, his family, his his gra his children, his grandchildren, his great grandchildren. They didn't do anything. I'm sure he went to jail. Oh yeah. Multiple time, multiple trains explode with propane. Yeah, I don't know. Propane is very, very difficult. Ever stuff. wonder what's in those tankers flying down the tracks? Well, sometimes the answer's not pretty. Trains can carry toxic waste, explosives, you name it. Mm -hmm. Usually there's also no milk. problem. But True. when one of these tankers comes off the tracks, but the results can be disastrous. Any of those are usually a form of gas. How far is that from here, Why are we mm, Probably about five, six hours. Is it close to like Green Bay? Mm, maybe about two or three hours from Green Bay. The Dells? Milwaukee? No, Milwaukee, it's more, it's more like the south. Okay. You'd think, you'd think propane tanks would be, you know, stronger and more proof, right? Imagine if you lived near it. Would you have to have four more extra pairs of underwear? Would you be like, I, I'm moving? Do you, you have pets, right? Would you get flapjacks? Would you do that for to get the pets back? As bad as it is for the town, things could have turned out a whole lot worse. Just ask the people of Murdoch, Illinois. How far is that from here? A freight train carrying propane, alcohol, and sulfuric acid derails and pass through town. One of the tankers exploded and burst into flames. News crews gathered to record the scene. The fire from the tanker is so hot, firemen can't approach it, so they hold back and wait for the fuel to burn off. 
but things don't work out like they planned. Whoa! That's a big thing. That's hot. <laughs> Amazingly, a tanker is blown half a mile away in the blast. The huge train car is dwarfed by this enormous explosion. And that's zoomed in. Later, there's yet another blast as another tanker explodes. No one is killed in either the train wreck or the explosion, but it's a weekend they still remember in Murdoch. Crescent City, Illinois. How far is that? Maybe about. I wonder when this was shot. Two and a half, three hours. Have you been there? When the train derails downtown. Do they have a train station? As the cars spin um. from the tracks, they rip down high voltage power lines. The propane ignites, and suddenly the wreckage is covered in flames. The local fire department. This does look like a 70s or 80s film. film. They're unaware yeah. that the tankers are filled with propane. Finally, firefighters realize the problem and back away to safer positions where they continue to hose down the fire. But when the town's electricity is turned off, to cut off sparks from the What is that? Line, the town's water what is that, like, pink stuff that you put over fires to prevent them from, the to put them out? What is that called? I don't know, it's a good question. The something, there's like some kind of foam or something? Or spray? Yeah. I keep what thinking it starts with an F. Oh, uh, if that happened to me, I'd better get something. When a car goes up against a train, there's never any doubt about the outcome. A locomotive will wipe out your car every time. You're 40 times more likely to die in a crash with a train than in a crash with another car. Pay attention. What you're about to see may save your life. Why don't they just have bridges over train tra over trains from now on? I don't know. For sure. We live in a terribly impatient society where drivers are so anxious to get to the other side of the tracks that they'll take. Operation Lifesaver is provide provided most of the videos. Are you gonna get some pizza? Can you give me one? She was rear-ended in the fog as she sat at a crossing and was shoved into the side of a passing freight train. As she was drug along in her car, she made this incredible call to 911. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew that I could, that car could just fall off that train any second and then die, but I just kept praying, honestly, I prayed the whole time. The engineers didn't know what had happened and dragged her three and a half miles before her Damn. car slammed into a sign and was jarred loose. Amazingly, she walked away with only minor bumps and bruises. I hope she's I hope she's healed. Trains don't have to be going fast to do their damage. Most of the time when they hit a car, they're traveling at less than 30 miles an hour. And you don't have to be on a long trip either. People usually are hit by trains close to their home. The impact is about 40 times that of a car hitting another car. Trains weigh hundreds of tons, and uh, your car weighs about 4,000 pounds. If your car ran over a soda can, that's the exact same impact, pound for pound, mass weight. Whoa. Even drivers are 
drivers who should know better insist on trying to outrun trains and crossings. Here, a school bus driver speeds under the gates while a train's approaching. He's risking the life of every kid on his bus. This school bus was hit when the driver stopped at a traffic light just after he passed through a crossing. He didn't know the rear of his bus was still on the tracks. Remember, to avoid an accident, when you come to a crossing, slow down. Look both ways and let the train cross before you do. Mm -hmm. Trains can't stop and they can't turn away from your car. It can take over a mile and a half to stop moving once an engineer hits his brakes. Anytime you go up against a train in your car, you lose. Er, can't there be stronger brakes? Coming up, a freight train derails in a suburb. Oh boy. The world's worst train wrecks. International. And a harsh lesson about safety at crossing. I still tense up! the country on over 200,000 miles of track. While most wrecks occur at crossings, sometimes train accidents happen in the middle of nowhere. Roland, Oregon, March Oregon. That's a little far from here. Did you see it? The fourth recently. Really? Mm -hmm. Down into the LA basin. On May 12, a 9,000 ton freight train came up to the crest, tested its brakes, and headed down the grade. Cahoon Pass is a very steep grade. This is a dangerous area for, for railroad operations because the trains are so heavy uh, that you have to make sure that you keep tight control over the trains with the braking systems. And the dynamic brake systems on the locomotive pre to prevent them from running away. I can't hold on! I can't hold on! But somewhere near the top, the train lost its brakes. The train picked up speed. As it went faster and faster, the engineer radioed ahead for help. But the only thing to do was to hold on and ride it out and pray the train stayed on the track. I'm going too fast! I'm going too fast! But those prayers weren't answered. The train was going 105 miles an hour when it hit a curve near the base of the wow. mountain. Um, the golden says I'm still having their breakfast when the train jumped and houses down the hill and careened into their backyards. The locals have worried about just such a disaster. After this, would you live there? You'd move as they stand by the cars. The train sand like cargo is thrown over everything, burying what hasn't been crushed. In all, 69 train cars derailed into the neighborhood, along with all six of the train's locomotives. House after house is wiped out by the force of the cars that careened off the track. The wreckage just keeps on going. Finally, a block away, the locomotives lie smoldering. Firefighters and rescuers couldn't believe what they saw. Train wrecks are, are so devastating because of the energy involved. A moving train has uh, so much energy that has. If to I were in charge of rails, I would shut this. Um, I would shut that rail. I would shut that energy, pass down immediately. Uh, in destruction and, and jackknifing of, of I do a new one. Cars. I don't care. Special 
dogs were called in to find the survivors. The rescuers dug through the wreckage to find the injured, and people were pulled from this rubble that minutes before had been their homes. Ironically, the massive wreck was caused by a clerical error. The crew didn't know the real weight of the train. Making things even worse, the brakes on three of the six locomotives hadn't worked. It all added up to disaster. But unimaginably, things got even worse. The train had derailed on an underground gas pipeline. While the cars didn't break the pipe, the heavy equipment used to clean up the mess did. Whoa. The gas leaked and 13 days later exploded. The same neighborhood where the train crashed is now engulfed in this firestorm. Eleven more houses were destroyed in the blast. Wow. Good luck but selling this home. With disaster. December 1994. Just before dawn, another runaway freight train barrels down the very same grade and rams into a train stopped at the bottom. It happened when an 82-car coal train came down the grade and was told to wait at the bottom while the tracks ahead were clear. Suddenly, the crew learned a mile-long freight train was barreling down behind them doing 50 miles an hour with no way to stop. Both crews jumped from their trains. Trains should be able to stop much faster and quicker. Here, one of the locomotives lies Good. on its side, buried in the dirt. These boxcars are piled on top of another crushed locomotive. Millennium Force at Cedar Point can go from 65 to zero in four seconds. The wreck was caused when the air hose that triggers the brakes was blocked. And without brakes, gravity took over. Less than two years later, it happened again. February 1996. Just one mile from the 94 wreck, another freight train loses its brakes, derails, and explodes in the third disaster at the bottom of the El Cajon Pass. But this train is hauling nine tankers filled with hazardous chemicals, including 158,000 gallons of pesticide. When the train crashes, the whole mess bursts into flames. Like the other engineers, this one had no hint he was headed for trouble. He tested his brakes three times before reaching the summit, and everything seemed fine. But as he started down the grade, that status changed. The train sped to more than 60 miles an hour, with the engineer helpless to stop it. The crew okay, you the you would have to you should close down this rail. You should close down the Alcon Pass. That's just what LA needs, more free more traffic. Well, more, more smoke and smoke. Mm -hmm. Firefighters have to be treated after exposure to the smoke. <laughs> the wreckage is enormous. This is the locomotive. By itself, it's as big as a house. To me, the size of it was what really struck me. Big steel rails that ten of us probably couldn't lift. It looked like pretzels. I know people have described that before, but that's exactly what it looked like. Just bent beyond recognition. And these big, huge, multi-ton steel vehicles thrown off of the track, crushed beyond recognition, rolled, smashed, like, you know, just another force of nature had wow. just taken a vengeance mm -hmm. on these things. was seriously injured. Investigators later determined the cause of the crash again was a kink in the air hose that cut off the train's brakes. This train did have emergency brakes that could have prevented the wreck, but they weren't turned on that morning. Without them, the train was doomed the moment it started down the pass. Shouldn't brakes be automatic anyway? One would hope, one would think, but maybe that's not. And make sure they were working. You should have you should close this rail you should close the pass. Locals can't stop wondering. Have they seen the last runaway train? Coming up. The world's worst train wrecks. A train collides with a gasoline tanker. Whoa.
I still tense up, you! That's a little mouth. Every train wreck is a disaster, but some, because of the size and the number of people involved, seem more catastrophic than others. Here are two of the worst. Imagine you're on one of the fastest trains in the world. Now imagine it comes off the tracks and collides with a bridge. Eschede, Germany, 1998. Normally, high-speed trains are among the safest ways to travel. The German ice train carries thousands of passengers every day at speeds of 170 miles per hour. Wow. Its luxury cars are equipped with telephones, video screens, even a place to go online with your computer. It's a perfect example of German precision. But on June 3rd, 1998, precision... I wonder if that's how Japanese bullet trains are. I might go on one in the future. Wheels should be stronger. There has to be a, there has to be something that can hold like, that can a wheel that can hold up to 300 miles an hour. Oh yeah. How many more minutes of destruction? On fire. There was a fireboat in the area. And it was About another ten minutes. Like it, and hoping to never see anything like it again. It was an hour-long special. What'd you expect? And it was called train wrecks. <laughs> what did you think you'd see? Oh my God, we're going to drown. And then I looked forward. I saw fire in the next car. Then. And everyone, of course, was screaming and getting up from Imagine the I showed you the documentary Why Planes Go Down like about plane crashes. To do. So, and when I looked me. at the car in front, I saw Should I show you plane crashes? Oh my God, the, the train is on or fire. No. And then it disappeared. This is enough. <laughs> and I got the hiccups. Mm. <laughs> Get, just some hiccuping now. 
investigators trace the wreck back to the tugboat pilot. No charges are filed. No charges? For changes in both the way pilots are licensed and bridges are protected. I would have him. That tugboat captain. Who? Throw him in that. Throw him in that water. Show him how he. Show what he. Show him how he. Show him how it feels. Almost done. The final two. It's a very populated area, too. And... This movie, this show teased that incident, but... Yeah. When a train collides with a tanker full of gasoline. Take a look. Mexico City, July oh. 1897. I was there recently. Yes, you were. Me and Kay, we were in uh, Mexico City a few, um, few months ago. No, we did not take trains. <laughs> Wouldn't you close that road? You should. What is that thing? You see that black thing right there? Yeah. What is that? If a tanker truck doesn't stand a chance against a train, imagine what happens when a train hits a person. The following video is a dramatic lesson on the power of trains. This person is an idiot. How far is that? Oh, no. hmm. Have you been there? Do they have a train station or a train crossing? Have you crossed this? I don't know. Do you think you'll ever cross it? Not now, huh? Mm. As the warning bells continue to ring, this woman wants to cross the tracks too. But she decides to wait. Then a man and woman hurry past the stop locomotive. Unaware I think that's a lawyer. But I'm not. I think I think that was her lawyer. She probably had trauma or something. than they used to be. I often hear people say, "Oh, I'll hear the train coming, and I can get off the tracks." That isn't true. You may not hear the train coming, and all too often, people do not. Remember, when the gates are down and the lights are flashing, wait. Never assume it's safe to cross the tracks just because you see one train has stopped. 500 people are killed at railroad crossings each year. A lot of people killed. Don't drive around lower gates. Don't race the train to a crossing. And if your vehicle stalls, get out and leave it. Railroads are That's some pretty serious wreckage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this was in 1999 and I'm sure they could easily do a second one with like an additional hour of more train crashes that have happened now are you ready to s now we're going to review we're gonna now do I'm, now I'm going to make my payment now we're gonna see <laughs> just give it just give it about five minutes okay uh they close at nine give it five minutes we're gonna see the uncensored version Oh, this is Russian the end of the day at a train station in Champaign, Illinois. It's Downers Grove. Way to not do your research. A train enthusiast has set up his video camera to Downers Grove and Champaign are like three plus hours away. It's like confusing. It's like confusing Cleveland with Cincinnati. Watch what happens as an impatient traveler attempts to cross the tracks. This is, this woman is Mary T. What? Mary T. W. Or I think it's called like train. She's also called train lady because of the incident. I think that's a little. I think that's mean, but.
<laughs> That's the horn. So actually, the 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 guy, the guy like doesn't try to the guy doesn't try to stop her. Just okay. There you go. Smashed. And spoiler alert. Rest in peace. Right. Well, you can't, you can't survive anything? that. Yes, we yes, did, we Kay. Did. So, KD, do you have anything you want to say about what you've seen? When coming to a train crossing, stop, look, listen, look and listen and again. Wait. While you're stopped. But also, I think the way this duck, the way this special showed it, it was like, man, trains are not as well. No. Main, or, I'm not, I don't want to say maintained, but they're not as like. They don't have as so much fail-safe things as you'd probably as as they probably should. And given that these some of these happened with, well, it aired in '99. But given that some of these happened like three or four years before, or '88 up to '99, uh, it really makes you wonder like who's in charge of trains. And you have to imagine some people have gotten fired. Oh, I'm sure that they have. And, you know, train stuff still happens. Not as much, but it still happens. Yeah, and you can go on... If you go on Wikipedia, there's been a ton of train crashes that have happened within the last few years. Uh, uh, our hearts go out to everyone who got injured and passed away in those... Absolutely. In the train videos. Um, fun fact, the woman that was hit by the train, she her family tried to sue the train. Yeah, uh, I think that was all her. Yeah, I think it it got dismissed. Well, uh, I'm Roller Coaster Rider. KD, see ya. See ya. We're we'll be back with maybe another commentary. Maybe I can get him to watch plane crashes. Oh man, <laughs> not any more destruction or animal attacks. Oh. We'll see. Bye. <laughs>